Hello everyone, this is Martin. Welcome back to another weekly video where I look at the major currency pairs and I'm always looking for trading opportunities. Uh, so before we start, I want to wish everyone a great happy weekend here in, uh, in Canada. Uh, this weekend is very important, especially for a lot of the younger people. Uh, it's called the May 2-4 weekend. We actually are celebrating uh, Victoria Day or, or Queen Victoria and uh, uh, Queen Victoria's birthday, I should say. And um, uh, traditionally, the younger younger people here, I, I, the, the, when I say younger people, I'm talking about the younger people who basically are the age where they can drink and drive. Um, this is when um, people go away on, on a, a mini uh, vacation over the weekend. Uh, they party, they drink, and, and basically... Um, not only the young people, but everyone, uh, old and young alike. We kind of celebrate the end of spring and uh, look forward to the summer season where the weather is obviously a lot nicer. So again, um, happy um, Victoria uh, weekend. It's... it's uh, Victoria Day weekend, that's what we call it here. So now we're going to start looking at uh, charts in just a second. And this week we have a theme. We're going to watch for levels. You can see that right here. Uh, we're watching different levels, areas where price may go and turn. And what, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, levels, first of all, levels are areas where price um will would respect with regards to previous price action in history and um just to show you here price basically in a trending market is going higher making higher highs higher lows and it can't go up forever but it gets to an area or a level here where price turns around and that's what we mean by price may go and turn so this is an uptrending market where price is hitting resistance in a downtrending market price is hitting uh, support so these are the levels that we will be watching this week uh, we've had some major currency pairs that are really rocketing and I mean rocketing to the planet called Forex um, they're giving uh, I'm sure a lot of traders a lot of pips uh, how far will they go well this is th this uh, with this week's video we're going to find out and see where these different levels are okay and uh, now before we actually look at the charts we're going to we're going to show you the disclaimer which is always important so the important thing with this video presentation it is for educational purposes only I want you to understand that uh, my opinions on the markets may change at any time with new evidence and um, uh, that, in that sense, I'm always looking at for new opportunities and looking for new clues. Uh, depending on what happens during the week, then I could change my opinion on what I present in this, uh, in this uh, video. Um, please read the contents and view the video at your own risk. Remember, this information is for educational purposes and to help make you a much better trader. Okay, so... Uh, with that said, let's uh, switch to the chart. Okay, let's start with the Euro USD daily. Here you can see the daily chart and uh, take a look at this vertical uh, red line here. This is the close of the previous Friday, um, not, not the previous Friday, the previous week uh, Friday. So uh, from the, um, the price action from the right to the right side of this red line, it was a trading activity for last week so you can see here sunday monday with this candle this huge candle right here was tuesday's trading wednesday thursday friday okay with this candle on friday uh price closed up really high it i believed it moved up about 115 pips which is a little bit more than the average daily range so uh with that said where do i see price going well i've already marked in some levels here above here and um i believe this price is going to go higher uh it is trending higher it is one of the strongest pairs right now so you could either take a buy trade but what i would do is actually wait for price to dip a bit so in other words buy on dips as price is going higher or if you buy right now 
Um, yeah, uh, you would uh, buy with smaller lot size because your stop loss should actually be below at least uh, the swing low right here. Okay, so um, price, I believe, in the short term is going to go up to here. Uh, it may come down a bit and then uh, come go right up up to this level at least, which is the 113.40, 113.50, and then again come back down again. So, uh, when is there going to be a major reversal? Um, perhaps not for a while, not this week, anyways. Uh, once it comes up to any one of these levels, price may go sideways and may even continue going higher. Um, the economic news out of Europe is generally pretty good. The news out of the U.S., especially with the turmoil surrounding Donald Trump, is not so good. And so that's the reason for this pair trending higher. Take a look at the MACD as well, okay? And um, so these are what we call resistance zones. So as price goes higher, this could, this level, remember we talked about levels at the beginning of the video. Uh, this is the first level that price may turn around. Uh, if price um, uh, breaks through, this certainly would be the next area where price would turn around. Uh, this is what I'm thinking anyways. Okay, so uh, if you're going to buy, buy on dips or... Um, or wait for price to go just a little bit higher than this can than this candle right here okay so the next pair let's take a look at the british pound let me just take those marks off the british pound uh usd daily same thing like the euro both in tandem they're both going higher again here's the level i've marked off you can see on the um on the price chart and uh uh, again, uh, if if price breaks this level right here around the one third, let me just see what that is. Uh, get my crosshair tool. So, one thirty sixty, one thirty, uh, you know, one thirty one. If it breaks this level, it's got a long way to go. So this this could be a great winner in the near future. So again, the best thing is wait wait to buy on dips. Or buy above 130.55, 130.55, uh, you can buy above there. Well, that's that's what I would be looking at. I'm not tell telling you to do that. Again, this is for educational purposes, but something that you have to decide on your own and based on your risk personality, okay? So, um, this is what's uh, happened last week, and this is that's what I think is going to happen. It's just trending higher. Again, take a look at the MACD. It just broke above the signal line. We have one green histo bar here on the British pound USD daily. Next, we get to the Australian USD. Same thing here. You can see this pair um, has, has also uh, uh, turned around. Uh, after uh, coming back down. However, this pair is a little bit different. This is in a in a pullback, okay? And by that, let me just zoom out a bit. Okay, so you can see, take a look right here, okay? Uh, we had price that started right here, it's come all the way down, okay? And now it's gone up. This is what we call a level. Again, this is what we're, we're trying to explain. This level is support. This next level you see in the gray rectangle is resistance. Okay, and at some uh, somewhere here, okay, price definitely could turn around again. Okay, so that's the theme for this week. We're looking at levels where price could certainly turn around. And for for trend traders, well, this was, this is actually on the daily chart. You would still be looking to buy, but again, be, be very cautious here. Um, there is a resistance level, okay? Let me just take that off. And, okay, I've taken all those markings off but there's another but if you're looking for the trend to continue this downtrend then you would be looking to take a sell trade once uh you see price come up to uh to a level here so again then you, you would be looking for evidence of the bounce off the resistance to the downside it just depends on what type of trader you are okay um i i, I want to zoom also out to the weekly show you the weekly chart you can see that price after a huge move down 
has come up and we're within a wedge here so you can see prices come down and prices have gone up down up down up and it looks like with a turnaround here uh, this is the moving average right here the 50 uh, price could certainly turn back down again and then maybe move back back higher again so again uh, it's something that you have to uh, wait for evidence this is the weekly chart just disregard this right now this is the it says daily but we're, we are looking at the weekly chart let me move back to the daily and that's what we get right there that's where you see the date the word daily okay so uh, let me just there we go back to normal and that's what i'm thinking in the short term price could still go a bit higher to the resistance area maybe even higher and then come back down but again it's it's um you're always looking for evidence okay uh, um this pair is tied into gold and uh, this pair has gone higher so australian uh currency in the short term has become stronger uh, let's take a look at gold. You can see gold has also rebounded from a uh, a low here. I've um, drawn the low or support this level here with this uh, trend line. You can see price came down, bounced up higher, and it's actually gone above the 50. So it looks like it could go a bit higher. It could trade sideways for a while because right here, again, let me just show you, right here is is another level what we talked about oh my drawing is not that good right now but again price may turn around and maybe go higher from here so again these are all the levels that we're watching in the meantime i believe price could go a bit higher okay and um, this is with gold now we get to the new zealand usd now this one Let's take a good look at that. This one's trending higher as well. You can see the um, the, the blue MACD line is not as convincing, although we had a, a nice uh, bullish momentum mo momentum bar that's above zero here on the MACD, but it's gone higher. I believe it's going to go higher to at least here, okay? And, uh, at, and then we want to look again for a turning point where price may go and turn around again based on the theme of this week's video so that certainly could be this area right here uh, i believe in the short term price could go higher uh, this is what i think and i would be looking to buy above 0.6950 on the upside so that's what i would be looking to buy um and again at this at, at uh, the next resistance area which is right about there okay take a look at the candle here okay to the left uh, let me just draw that in see this the high point right there okay right so that could be i mean once once price goes goes uh breaks through above there it could go obviously a lot higher than back then then uh to this area right here but again you're, we're always looking for evidence. Look to the next level where price may go and turn around, okay? So let's take that off. Now we move on. What's after New Zealand USD? We normally switch to the US CAD. You can see that right here. Um, let me zoom out to the weekly again. Uh, let's see what's happening on the weekly. And you can see we had a huge uh, bearish candle right here. Just ignore the uh, US CAD daily wording. But you can see where, okay, let's just move that out of the way. You can see we have a huge channel. So after an extended period uh, where price, uh, and this was back in uh, last year, February, uh, December, February of last year, prices come down, okay, right? Prices come down. And then all of a sudden, it's been in a channel okay you can see what's happening there and um now it's coming back down price from here certainly would come down to the next uh, support levels again that's what we're talking about where are the the um, levels that price could go to and possibly turn around and let's switch to the uh let's switch to the daily okay there we go 
and zoom in so price has broken this support zone in with the gray rectangle uh, we're now coming down to the 50 SMA if price breaks the 50 and comes down lower and my bias is to the downside okay my bias is downside um, this pair is tied into oil oil has been doing really good lately so if oils if the price of oil is going higher and it most likely will be for the next uh next little while then this pair is going to be coming down so weakness in the u.s uh well not weakness in the u.s necessarily but strength in the canadian currency tied into oil which is uh causing this pair to go down so here's the next level right here and as far as um what i'm looking at if we believe price is going to go lower then uh i would watch for a bounce at at, at this area 134.30 to 134.50 34.30 um to, to fit uh, 34.50 and wait for price to bounce the other way so if you're a uh, kind of a trend trader or short-term trend trader uh you would still look at taking a sell trade uh, with price coming down a little bit further before possibly bouncing back higher again okay so that's the US CAD let's move on to oil again and you can see here oil has been in in, an, in a tear uh, oil can still go higher up to the next resistance zone right here and that's why the US CAD pair has been going down okay now we move on to the um, US Swiss franc let's take a look right here uh, again this this uh, you can see price here in this pair has been in a wedge let me just go to the weekly okay you can see right here here's the weekly chart but look at this huge weekly bearish candle isn't that amazing that I mean that that is a, an amazing drop in price right there okay and uh, that's in response to the French elections and also other problems um, with Donald Trump and that the um, the lack of um, the lack of I guess uh, confidence in the US dollar right now but let's go back to the daily there we go look at this one two three four five five six candles uh, a total drop of 367 pips Wow okay so here's the next level next uh, level as I mentioned in my video where I think price could come down and then turn around so again this is what I'm looking at where price may just turn around uh, and um, uh, the other thing is you could if you want to take a sell trade just wait for a bit of a pullback first uh, and, and that's with any price uh, I'm sorry any pair where uh, on one particular day where prices moved quite a bit you always wait for a bit of a pullback and then look to sell in the same direction so in this case we want to wait for a bit of a pullback again take a look at this uh, this line this lower trend line you can wait for price to pull back there and then take a sell trade to the downside but here's the level we're looking at okay and that's where price could certainly bounce off support remember this is support and price could go back up a little bit higher again okay and finally we got one more pair and that is the US Japanese yen again take a look here um, we had broken see right 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 here we had broken a channel okay uh, this long downward ch um, channel where price has gone up down up we've broken above the trend line above the channel here but we've come right back into the channel now this is one pair where I'm going to caution you and, and basically tell you to wait we need to see more evidence in here and even though we had a huge bearish candle on the Wednesday you can see right here this is Wednesday last Wednesday's trading then we had a bounce off the support it's gone higher but we're stuck between moving averages okay and um, the moving out like everything's kind of um, in a bit of a muddled muddled uh, mess so you can see here the red dash line that's the 200 this blue dash line that's the 100 this is the 50 there's the uh, this uh, this is the eight EMA so price is kind of stuck all over the place right here and uh, it, sh it may just be trading sideways um, it may come down right away but 
uh, my my bias is to the downside, and so what I'm uh, what I'm thinking is sell below one ten twenty, sell below one ten twenty. If we think, which is down by the way down here, uh, one ten yeah one ten twenty, which is down here. So either you you wait for price to come down and sell below here, or wait for price to go much higher and uh, buy above one twelve. Uh, 20 okay so that's what i see happy weekend to everybody and uh we will talk to you soon at the next video which is next week so take care and uh, we will see you again bye for now